Welcome back to Sparesbox Unrolled. This week, the race car is back on the hoist and we're taking a look at the handling. We give you a project car update, plus I'll show you how to clean your four-wheel drive when you get back from your most recent trip. All right, Sambo, last time we were down at City Motorsport Park, I had a steer of the Z, yep. and it had a couple of handling characteristics that I wasn't really happy with. Yes, you did. Now, given nice. the level of modification we've gone to with this car, it's yep. a little bit tricky to get things off the shelf for it. Mm. We've had a couple of custom things made by the guys at Fulcrum Suspension, yep. and I stuck them in earlier this week. Let's have a look. Some of you may recognize this Z31. Now, it's been a little while since we've talked about the Z. You may have seen in a previous episode that we had a bit of drama at Eastern Creek with the car, a bit of a rod knock from the bottom end, and that engine is away at the machinist as we speak. So while I've got the car here without a motor, it's a great opportunity to go over the car and refine and improve a couple of little things we didn't get the chance to do before we hit the track last time. Now, number one for me is the front sway bar. Aftermarket front sway bars with Z31s are few and far between. Actually, let's just call them Unobtainium. I know there are a couple of companies that made them, but we can't get a hold of them. Now, while you can run a car on the racetrack without a sway bar, and I do know people who do that, a sway bar is a fantastic tool on any sort of race car because not only does it allow us to work the tires hard as it acts like a spring between left and right on the vehicle, but it allows us to fine tune the front and rear balance of the vehicle as well. Having a car like this, which is largely untested, having that ability to play with the car's dynamics is awesome. Now, lucky for us, Fulcrum Suspension are able to make up custom sway bars to a sample or two measurements, including bushings, which is exactly what we had done for our Z31. Now we have S14 lower control arms in this car and the sway bar links didn't quite line up with the factory Z31 sway bar. So we had Fulcrum Suspension bend us up a 26 mm sway bar for the front of this boy and we had them move the mounting points 32 millimeters inwards so it lines up perfectly with our sway bar links on our lower control arms. Now Fulcrum Suspension have also supplied custom Super Pro bushes to match our sway bar, which is awesome. If you want to check out how to install Super Pro bushes on your own project, check out this video up here. Now I'm going to get into the installation now. It should be quick and easy given the quality of everything I've got in front of me, so let's get into it. Well that's it guys, that was a super easy installation, just like most sway bars, unless it's the Bull Rush Rally M3 BMW. If you wanna see that, check out this video, GG. But for today, that's all I've got to do on the Z31, but I've got a bunch more things to tick off the list before we get our motor back. If there's anything you guys wanna see me do on this or anything you want to know more about or have a close look at on the car, let us know in the comments. And I'll be happy to show you guys more. But for now on guys, back to the couch. I'll see you later. But Sam, that's not all we've got in store for the Z. There's a couple of things yep. more to do before we get our engine back. Um, and on the topic of that, you guys might have seen on Instagram, we've yes. gotten all the components back for the engine now. And it's yep. off at the machinist as we speak. While we're on the subject of project cars and machinists, the 18RG out of the Celica, I reckon it's about a week away. So we're due back. We're due back. Exciting times. I'm looking forward to seeing you build an engine. Oh. <laughs> The FJ40 is also looking really, really good. It is. It's progressed even further since last week's episode. Yep. It's got doors on, it's got glass in, and it looks for all intem intents and purposes like a finished FJ40. It looks and gorgeous. And I've got to tell you, it looks bloody amazing. Yeah, the glass is really setting it off. The people haven't seen it, it's It looks hot. great. We also have bits showing up from a couple of our performance suppliers for the uh, R32 Skyline. Yep. So we're about to hit the ground running on that with a whole host of goodies. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. And we're about to give the Naughty 40 a bit of a facelift, which I'm excited about. People haven't seen too much on it, but that should be coming in the sort of next three weeks or so. So that's going to be exciting as well. Thanks. Plus, there's a very European elephant in the room. It's just over there. We're not going to tell the people what it is, but what the people can do is head over to our Instagram, where we've shown a couple of photos of it already. 
It's Leon's new toy, and he is proud as punch of it. Yeah, he, he's in love with that thing. But um, I'll tell you what, mate, it sounds like we're going to be flat out the next coming weeks yeah. on all of the cars in here. So if there's one thing we can promise you guys, it's a heap of content on all of the above. Yeah, and if you want to see that content, there's three spots, YouTube, but also Facebook and Instagram, where we've also got two more weeks of our giveaway coming up. And the last two weeks are going to be finishing it off strong. And trust me, you're going to want to be in it to win it because there's some cool stuff going. I'm a bit bummed I can't win it. I've yeah, been told it's them. a shame. It's yeah. a shame. <laughs> now, speaking of project cars, 200 series. Mm. We don't have it here often because it's usually all over the country on various trips. But it came back from one recently. And I, uh, sorry, I was going to say I had the pleasure of, it's not really that. It was disgusting. But I used the whole host of Maguire's cleaning accessories to get it back to uh, showroom condition, let's say. Well, as close to as possible. I'll be impressed if you can do that, mate. You trash that car. Yeah, it's a sorry state of affairs. Take a look. Now you wouldn't know this, but I'm actually wearing a bikini under this. Why? Because the guys told me we're washing a car. What they didn't tell me was that it feels like minus four degrees. So I've since had to rug up. Behind me is the 200 series. It just got back from Cape York and unfortunately it's looking pretty second hand. Now, the harsh reality of going full driving and camping is that your vehicle pretty much always comes back looking a whole lot worse than it did when you left. Today, we're gonna to be doing something about that. We've raided pretty much the entire Meguiar's catalog to help us out on this journey, so, I'm gonna get my freezing cold hands stuck in. The Meguiar snow cannon kit is a fantastic piece of gear because it comes with everything you need. It's got three fittings to suit pretty much all your mainstream uh, pressure washers. It comes with everything you need in the bottle, which makes your life really easy. The nozzle itself even has an adjustable end, which means you can adjust the spray pattern of your foam on the fly, which we really love. Now, in this particular snow cannon kit, in this case, is a bit of a pre-wash. The 200 needs all the help it can get, so it really is as simple as choosing your desired dilution rate, spraying the foam on the car, letting it sit for a couple of minutes. It's gonna lift all the loose dirt off and away from the paintwork, ready for you to come back over with your pressure washer and clean all that foam and grit off. Now, we can move on to the wheels. The wheels and tyres on your four-wheel drive cop the most abuse out of pretty much any element of your vehicle when you're off-road, and that's why we had to give them a little bit of extra special treatment. We chose the Meguiar's factory equipped wheel and tyre cleaner, which is safe for pretty much all wheel and tyre applications, and to help take some of the work out, we've got the Meguiar's wheel brush here, which is again, nice soft bristles, Br bristles. Again, which is nice soft bristles, which aren't gonna damage anything, but it is gonna lift that dirt off your wheel. With the wheels taken care of, it's time for a good old sponge bath. We've got our Meguiar's bucket, grit guard, the soft wash sponge, and the gold class shampoo in there. Now we can get stuck in.
So once you've dried the vehicle with your Meguiar's drying towel, you're pretty much done. Now this has been a pretty basic post-trip must-do clean to get your four-wheel drive ready to go crawl those malls before your next outing. One thing we didn't show you, because I tell you what, it was not majestic, was me lying on the cold concrete, cleaning the underside of the vehicle and the chassis rails, because that's copped an absolute hiding too. We've still got the interior to give a deep clean, and I mean deep. It is absolutely trash, but you guys are going to have to wait until next week's Unrolled episode for that. If you want to check out a bit more on the 200 on your screen at home, click the link up in that corner where I do a full walk around down the Redhead Beach of all the mods we did to this 200 series. Anyway, I reckon time to head back to the couch. Sambo, the outside of that 200 may look clean, but I've seen the inside, yeah. I've seen underneath, and I'll tell you what, you have some hours ahead of you. Yeah. And if you think be... I'm going to help you. Nope. I've got Not a, couple, a chance. That is your yeah. doing and it is your problem. Yeah, a couple of long days ahead of me, I think, cleaning the rest of that car. But next week, I get to spend some time on the R32 Skyline that Sandy's yep. got here. Yep. Now that's quickly coming together. Yep. We just received a bunch of go fast bits from a bunch of our sick brands. Yep. We've got to fit them all next week. We've got to make an exhaust, an yep. external gate, yep. get this thing running so We're Sandy going. can get back out Screamers. on the track sideways. Yep. I can't wait to see. Sandy's Skyline running, so I can go to Eastern Creek and watch him slide it into a concrete barrier. It's gonna be so That good. would make my night.